So there is less than a week until the release of Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition, and the hype is sky high. Oh, Tommy! While waiting patiently to the digital release and feeling kind of disappointed that the physical release is only coming one month later, on December, probably due to COVID issues, I thought I will take a step back and think about Rockstar Games' latest move and what we can learn from it. If we will put the leaks aside, it all officially began on October 8th, when Rockstar announced on the Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition, with a short teaser and updated artwork. The announcement caused a huge fuss, and even people who don't usually play video games couldn't stay indifferent to this news. I won't get into Rockstar motives about removing the original versions from the digital stores, but no doubt this act increased the attention to the event even more. Hey, hey, pops, hey, what's happening? On October 22nd, on GTA 3 20th anniversary, Rockstar dropped the trailer for the Definitive Edition, but only after they first opened the pre-orders. Do you remember any game that had a pre-order before any trailer or screenshot? Because I sure don't. The trailer, while showing us the Unreal Engine improvements, still left us with a lot of wonders regarding to the games and if there are any added or removed contents. It seems now we have more questions than answers. The release date is also something to discuss about. Announcing a new game, or in this case remasters, only three weeks before the release is something we don't see every day, especially from Rockstar. Getting the PC version at the same day with the consoles is also something we are not used to get from Rockstar. So the hype and attention keep rising. While fans still analyzing every frame from the trailer, another bomb was dropped, as Mark Zuckerberg announced that the legendary title Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is about to have a VR version exclusive to the Oculus Quest 2 at the Facebook event now called Meta. I'm excited to announce that the Rockstar Games classic Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is in development for Quest 2. This new version of what I think is one of the greatest games ever made will offer players an entirely new way to experience this iconic open world in virtual reality. If a couple of months ago someone would tell you that the classic Grand Theft Auto trilogy is about to get remastered and also San Andreas is coming to VR, you probably would laugh. Man, what's this? Shit look ridiculous. How company that didn't release any major games since 2018 and mostly occupied on adding new content to GTA Online and Red Dead Online will have the time to release such things? Well, it seems now Rockstar got itself a lot of attention, attention that in my opinion will be shifted to something bigger. I'm not necessarily referring to Grand Theft Auto 6, it could be, but it doesn't have to be. It even doesn't have to be a game from a franchise we already know either. I won't state any game, but I'm sure your imagination is running. It can be a new game totally. Anyways, it seems, at least to my opinion, that Rockstar is cooking something for us, and the hype and attention are the final ingredients in the recipe. All we have to do now is to wait and see how it tastes, and hopefully it will be served on November 11th. I won't count on it that it will be served directly to your table, but be kind of a teaser. Do you also feel that Rockstar is hiding something behind the curtain? More than just remastered for the beloved GTA trilogy titles? Or the definitive edition is a sufficient reason for a party and nothing else is coming with it? Share with us your thoughts in the comment section below and like always, if you liked the video, make sure to show us some love by hitting the like button and consider subscribing to the channel in order to be notified on upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe and I will see you in the next one.